A lot of the Call of Duty refugees are not happy, especially the homie Blame Truth. He says that Black Ops Gulf War, which is Call of Duty 2024, leaked, but it looks terrible though. Yay! Like the video if you think microtransactions are ruining gaming right now, Call of Duty included. Dislike the video if you actually love the BBC, the Friendly Area 1 bundles. I want to see where you guys at, but guys, wait for this one. I Roll will it. give credit where credit's due, and I think Sledgehammer, I really do think Sledgehammer put this on record, stamp it. I think they have done a great job this year so far, especially with this last content update. I think that the core game and all the stuff they're adding and all what? them listening to- uh, Did I click on the wrong Blame Truth video? Uh, what? The feedback of the community is good, but it's like Man, they can only do so much because they're working with a DLC. They're working with the Infinity Wars DLC. Oh, there of is. oh yeah, there it is, guys. There it is. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, the complaints uh, starting very soon, guys. Get ready for the climax, bro. They it's going to run get a lot of wild. Stuff by Infinity Ward. It's just a mess, dude. Yeah. So I, I'm gonna give Sledgehammer themselves, the devs themselves. I'm gonna say great job. Seriously, it's it's like everything else that's not them that's related to the game that is the issue. Skill based matchmaking, horrendous servers, cheating epidemics, false yeah. bans. Yeah. I had some people saying I was getting paid off by saying that uh, the company, uh, Activision Blizzard, or whatever, don't do false bans, and um, you know, I'm just yeah. taking, I'm getting yeah, paid yeah. off by streamers want me to take. So up. yeah, it's like slowly we're like building up right now. Like the momentum is kind of building up. Get ready for the plot twist. The movies tonight is gonna be busted guys i want to see like why the homies mad right now because uh yeah like uh this is a call of duty cycle if call of duty turns out to be bad this year guys don't worry call of duty 2025 will save call of duty okay Bruh. next year guys, will be better, for one you know? i don't really like talk to 99 percent of these generic short-haired white guys that are content creators nowadays that's literally most content creators oh it's a short-haired white guy and he's kind of good at fps wow very interesting this this bams guy or whatever i think got yeah. caught for cheating or banned for cheating or whatever and he was making the rounds and i'm like who in the hell is this i thought it was bam marchera at yeah. first yeah bams he apparently got bamboo clad he got perma bamed as well Bruh. get it okay i'll stop but essentially the the craziest part here is that activision then came out and they said that they they perma banned people for a reason they do not perma ban for no reason essentially they said that yeah the perma ban is real oh shit. it's the real deal so there are people on on the left right now believing that he never cheats uh, on the right people are like nah bro he cheats he cheats he cheats and activision comes out and they say well we do not perma ban for no reason which means like he cheated got perma banned and he ended up getting bamboo cloud though so maybe i'm showing yeah. my age there i don't know Viva La Bam. That was a great show. Viva La right, Bam. Anyway, yeah, Viva let's La get Bam. into the meat and potatoes, though. Here. I, um, so I want to cover Black Ops Gulf War. We, we have yeah. some leaks. We have some new leaks. And I'll just say this, guys. I have been playing this series for so long. I, I, just, I don't want to repeat myself on how long I've been playing it, but a long, long time. Yeah, Go to my channel. Time. Sort by, like, earliest upload dates. You'll oh, see. Know. If we you're know, interested, you'll see. And I have seen it all. I got kind of excited about this Sledgehammer parkour game mode. Yeah, every every time like a Call of Duty comes out with new Call of Duty, Slick has always say my VV go boing, boing, boing. Uh, I'm not sure who said it, but somebody did say my VV go boing, boing, boing. And uh, that, that, I, I gotta say, like, that used to be true. But back in the days, now nowadays it's like nothing. I mean, yeah, this is a homie blame truth. Nowadays it's like friendly, and it cost twenty dollars. Back in the days, bro, my VB definitely went boing boing uh, by buying the game. But nowadays it's like even if you buy microtransactions, you cannot boing boing. So there's that. It's actually something new and innovative, and that's yeah, okay. God, man, that's what we need. And, and I'm, I'm yeah. saying this right now, like no amount of content, no amount of microtransactions, no amount of uh, EOMM psyop shit Skill is going to keep yeah. players interested. Call of Duty is kind of doing this right now. They're, they, they don't care about the long-term players. They do not. They only care about getting new morons in to play their game. They only care about making that $70 yearly sale. They only care about getting you to log on once a month. They only care about feeding their overpriced MTX to whales. $80, yeah, the 80 dollar yeah. Oh, yeah. glove. $80? And, and you know the craziest thing here is that I made a video on this $80 monkey punch. Bruh. Like, listen, guys. If you're somebody that's, like, unsure uh, and you're like... <laughs> I gotta buy. I gotta. I gotta buy. If you're thinking about buying it, but you're still like, hey, uh, I need a second opinion. I'll give you that second opinion. Don't buy it. And you're looking for like another reason to not buy it. Just give us that eighty dollars, okay? Bruh. 
all of us in the comment section, we're, we're gonna punch you back, okay? At least you're gonna feel something, okay? Why, why buy a monkey punch when we can all, like, hundreds of people, maybe thousands of people here, can, like, punch you for, for $80? Or, you know what? Like, forget about that $80. We don't need your money, bro. Like, save your money. Just let us know, man. Excuse me. Uh, I don't know, bro. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm having those withdrawal symptoms. I, I need to buy it. Tell me why I shouldn't buy it. Just, just let us know, bro. We're gonna come. We're gonna punch you for free. At least you're gonna feel something. We're gonna knock the daylights out of you. We're gonna put some sense in your dumb ass right now. And then you're gonna understand why you should not be buying that $80. I mean, I mean, if you're an oil, if you're an oil prince, you got money coming in like tsunami. You're making more money than God right now. All right, then go ahead and uh, give us that money. Okay, sure. Uh, don't buy it. Just give us that money, guys. Like you got, you got all the money in the world, right? But dollar glove. $80 yeah. glove! Monkey $100 punch. cheetah print thing. You gotta yeah. spend 100 And the craziest thing here is that I did cover the $80 punch part, but the $100 cheetah print came right after, and I was like, okay, bro, well, here we go again, you know? <laughs> I, uh, I I personally did not cover that story because it's like, bro, I made a video about the $80 punch, and these seconds came out <laughs> with the $100 one right then and there. I'm like, bro, who does that? Who does that? What are we talking about? This is an $80, uh, uh, 70, yeah, $70 game, but in Canada it becomes like 105 with taxes. Uh, I'm in Quebec, uh, I'm in Quebec, Montreal, I'm in the city. Ah, oui, 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 ah, oui, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Like, yeah. $100 on Call of Duty merch to unlock this stupid camo. And it doesn't even look good. It looks like a fat black woman's get up you'd see at Walmart or something, man. I, I just, I don't get it. I do not get it. And they're testing the waters to make this even worse. They're oh, testing the waters to make this even worse. But beyond that, they are content to coast and recycle and bring yeah. us essentially nothing new. Now, I, I love Treyarch. I do. I've been kind of a Treyarch fanboy. I've loved every Treyarch game except Cold War. What a piece of garbage that was. It's raining. It's pouring. Cold War is mooring. <laughs> We're about to bring that catchphrase back and just replace Cold War with Gulf War because... Uh, <laughs> Oh yeah. man, let's take a look at these leaks and uh -oh. I'm gonna show you what uh -oh. I have such a problem with. It's just uh -oh. rampant recycling. Let's put some happy music in the background for a second. And coasting. It is the same exact thing we have been yeah. getting for decades. Dog, playing Call of Duty nowadays is like working at McDonald's, but you are the one paying the CEO. Instead of you receiving the pay, no bro, it's the opposite. You gotta pay the CEO himself. Why you guys, why you guys can't do it? But listen, on a, on a real though, like I have to say this, by the time this game comes out, it's gonna be four years in development. If this game doesn't get my VB go boing, 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 then I don't want it. I don't want it, bro. This game better get my Weeby go boing boing. I wanna let my dogs out too, bro. You, you feel what I'm saying? Like the video if you know what I'm saying. It's old. So these are some official, I guess they're official leaks for Black Ops Gulf War. This game's been leaking ever so slightly since last year. I think they're actually ahead of schedule for once, which is good. But take a yeah. look at this perk list. Uh -oh. This is not all the perks in the game, but take a look at all these perks here. These are just gathered from the uh, default classes from the game. Yeah. And do you see what I see? Are, are you really looking and are you seeing what I'm seeing? Because I am seeing nothing new. This is a problem I have with Modern Warfare 3 even. Like, everything they brought us perk-wise, it's all stuff we've seen before. Everything they brought us killstreak-wise, all stuff we have seen before. And I'm so sick of it. I, I understand keeping what works, keep the core things that work, but they don't even do that. They change that. They change, yeah. like, the core of the game and how it plays and moves and then, like, give us the same old perks and killstreaks <laughs> we've seen for 20 years. It's no yeah. wonder people aren't happy. It's no yeah. wonder... Yeah, and you know the funniest thing here is that I'm not sure if he's gonna mention this or not, but yeah, I made a video on it, Black Ops Gulf War, and I talked about all the leaks. Yeah, beta is coming out as well, right? Like, same day, Xbox and PlayStation. Uh, there's talks of, like, older Call of Duty games coming on Game Pass as well. We're also hearing campaign is gonna be open world. Game is coming out in October. Zombies gonna have two maps at launch. Bruh. I mean, damn, bro. Can a, can a brother, can my brown ass get to see at least, like, three, four, maybe 5,000 maps at launch? These seconds want to believe in 5,000 different genders, but they cannot give us more than two mess. I mean, damn, homie, in a way, in a way, y'all seconds kind of agree with two genders. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I, I, I know that's like crazy wow. analogy right there, but, but like, damn, bro. I'm just asking for more than two maps. Can my brown ass get to see? And now we got this. And, and the funniest thing here is this, that apparently the maps that got leaked out, take a guess, take a guess, what maps got leaked out, right? 
You think those are new maps? You think those are new maps? You think those are... Nah, bro, those are remaster maps. We're here in Firing Range coming back. Bruh. Uh, jungle coming Bruh. back, I believe. You know the O4, right? Jungle, Firing Range, Summit. Nuketown... Okay, with Nuketown, I got no problem. And indeed, I... In, in, in fact, I got no problem with remaster maps either. I have a problem and a lot of people have a problem with when the remaster maps overtake the actual new content. As long as you got good new content, my G, you can have remaster maps. In fact, you can bring all the remaster maps from the previous games. I don't give a damn, bro. You can have new content, at least have like, come on, bro, like we're in 2024 here. At least like 16 new maps. Y'all suckers used to do that back in the days. Okay, 16 new good maps, okay? And then you can have remaster maps. I don't care about it, right? Like the video if you agree. And before we get to the climax, guys, real quick, I wanna say this is my second channel. This is where I upload UFO content, conspiracies content every single day. If you're into it, check it out. Also, if you wanna help support the channel, become a member by clicking the join button uh, that's next to the subscribe button. All right, let's get back to the content now, boo-boo. People are so critical, it's no wonder that Modern Warfare 3 sold 40% less than Modern Warfare 2 because it's just the same thing. It's the same game. You it's can't boring. keep recycling. I'm not quite sure what Slayer and Operative is, but I'm pretty sure those are going to be, and that they could have been something in the past that we've already seen, and I'm just drawing a blank, but like most of this stuff, it's just, it's the same old thing. What I would give, what I would give for just... A complete overhaul, completely new perks, completely new kill streaks, never before seen. It's something, you know. Uh, just I don't know, brand new maps that have like an entirely different flow. Maybe not even three lane. Maybe just be experimental with it, but make sure it's good at the same time. Now, some people will say like, well, when they do try something new, people complain. That's not true. When they try something new and it's fucking stupid, yes, people complain as they should. Modern Warfare 2 is a prime example of this. They come out with this time release perk system. No one likes it because it, ser it literally serves no purpose. It's pointless. It's change for the sake of change. It's like you wake up one morning and you have your salt and pepper there. And then yeah. someone replaces the salt shaker contents with like sugar. It and someone replaces the pepper contents, the ground pepper contents with fly shit. It looks the same, but it serves no purpose other than to make your life worse. Yeah. My li okay, so far from my assessment, I think he doesn't know that remaster maps are coming to the game who's gonna tell who's gonna tell him that remaster maps are also leaked i don't think he knows i don't i don't think he knows i don't think he knows so who's gonna tell him <laughs> no don't tell him i think he's gonna explode bro then he would need like two of these uh, helmets on his head bro I i'm just saying bro i don't think he knows i don't think he knows that remaster maps are coming as well bro lying there tell me when i'm telling lies come on man New ideas when they are awful, yes, we don't like them. New ideas when they are good, yes, we love them. Remember the Pick 10 system? Yeah. The Pick 10 system came out oh, with Black go. Ops yeah. 2. Oh, Universally praised. The <laughs> fact of the matter is, guys, the yeah. fact of the matter is, I, I truly am exhausted at the recycling. He doesn't Again, know about... I, I've said this... He doesn't know about remaster maps. That's uh, yeah. He he he's gonna explode when he finds that uh, finds out about it. Countless times. One of the biggest one of the biggest complaints about my content is that I make the same video over and over. Look at that perk list. Go back and look at that perk list and tell me what in the hell am I supposed to do to make new videos when I keep getting the same exact stuff as in that perk list. And you might be saying like, well, I don't mind the recycling. If it works, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's totally fine. I get that. But the thing is, is that the things that are broke will not be fixed. Skill-based matchmaking is going to be turned up higher than ever. I, I thought with Microsoft's acquisition, things would change. And then we get an $80 King Kong glove and a hundred dollar fat black woman <laughs> sheet of print. Yeah, bro, thing. like that <laughs> was crazy. <laughs> Nothing's gonna change. You, you know, it, it's insane that they came out with $80, so I guess lost their mind. I made a video, we were checking out like Nero, Nero Shenema, Nero Shenema. We were watching that video and, and we were just laughing, right? And and then these seconds, guess what they do? They come out with $100. $100, $100 bundle, mate, $100. It's like absolutely insane like bro like how out of touch you gotta be uh, and it's like absolutely just baffling right because I I've read some comments and some people are saying well bro don't buy it I mean no shit Sherlock we're not buying it but like damn like don't you understand like the game is like $70 and microtransactions in this game cost more than the actual game 
Like, damn, like, damn, bro. Damn, man. How much Benji's you make per day? Like, do you make... I mean, on average, it, it, it's like... Bro, you need to throttle... You gotta throttle yourself, bro. You need to, like, completely, like, go in and work a day job. And, and at the end, like, you would be lucky if you make, like, $100 out of it, right? Most people don't make $100 a day, bro. Right? I, I'm talking, like, after taxes as well. Yeah, most of you will be like, okay, man, schizzle, I, I get to make $100. But think about it again, though. You know, when Uncle Sam comes in, when Uncle Sam's ask for for their share, like, damn, bro, like, damn, homie, you, you, <laughs> those things are gonna come in and gonna get their share. So, truly, at the end of the day, you don't make $100. So, some of you make, uh, but, like, most people, on average, I'm talking average, okay? And if we're gonna talk about like other countries america is not the only country here guys like come on dog like I, I know some believe that no bro america is everything you know Amer most of you guys are american i'm in canada like north america let's just say north america is not the center of the universe guys i know it feels that way but like there are more people out there in india bro like almost two billion there are more people in china out there dog you know china number one i mean there's a reason why like i said china china number one you know social credits you know the esg now esg is kind of like a, a hair thing there we got social credits Bruh. but but like damn bro most people in other countries dog like they don't even make that much you know what i'm saying like so th this is crazy bro it's just gonna get worse and worse because people keep buying it it does not matter how much people complain it does not matter even how many players they lose they could just release some doobie bundle and get some morons to be like oh well, i smoked weed one time like two years ago i'm gonna buy this it's just dumb stupid stuff man Another problem that these devs have is that they don't work together to move the series forward. They all kind of split off and do their own thing. And yeah. it's like two steps forward, one step back. In some cases, one step forward, three steps back. And Infinity Ward's, you know, a particular mindset of, of game development. But um, Treyarch and Sledgehammer, I think... Uh, are maybe, maybe their mind needs this uh, helmet, Blame Truth. <laughs> I'm just saying. Where are those ads at? You might want to, like, pull up, like, a sponsor video, dog. Like, just do it, bro. Like, maybe, maybe those devs, uh, for their mindset, they need, like, a mind-numbing numbing hel helmet, though. Like, and then maybe that... that, that I, 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 I think that's what's, what's going to get their mindset, r mindset right. Are like the, like I, the video if you agree, dislike if you disagree. I think they have definitely pulled ahead of Infinity Ward here, but I mean, again, Treyarch aren't really working with Sledgehammer on the multiplayer component. Sledgehammer aren't really working with Treyarch on the multiplayer component. Yeah, all the devs are kind of combined here, but each Call of Duty has like a lead team that has their own vision, and you can't really truly innovate. I feel like you can't truly move the series forward. Yeah and make the games better and better as time goes on like they used to be because every studio is kind of like wanting to just make their own thing here. And then you add in cringy microtransactions to get more and more expensive, bad servers, yeah, like the bad matchmaking, up. things outside of the devs control that continue to get worse, like the main mainline Call of Duty devs or whatever. And it's just, it's just a mess. It just continues to get worse. While I commend Modern Warfare 3 for being a better game than Modern Warfare 2, being better than the dirt worst, the, the universally panned, like worst in the series Call of Duty ever, isn't saying much. Yeah, true. You took true. the game and you patched it, Sledgehammer. Great job. I mean, I'm not even being like, <laughs> facetious here. Great job with that, seriously. You took yeah, a mess of a game and you made it decent. But I mean, when you think about it, like, what what did they do? Like, they brought maps from the original Modern Warfare 2 in 2009. Yeah, beloved maps, we bastard them. Yeah, 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 whatever. And then they, like, patched Modern Warfare 2022. Simply put, that's what they did. Warzone, yeah, Warzone got a new map. And then they took that, make, made campaign from it, put zombies, uh, already a uh, Treyarch, a uh, track worked on zombies. And what those things did, they took zombies from Black Ops Cold War, and put it on Warzone map that was already made. Like, yeah. Yeah, that, that game got, you know? Boom, 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 boom. Bing, bam, boom, bam, boom. Slap this, slap that. Tee, toot, 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 tee. Game. Game. Yeah, there you go. Game for $70 USD. Still working from behind. You still have the worst multiplayer servers I have ever seen. A cheating epidemic the likes no one has ever seen. Horrendous yeah. skill-based matchmaking. Recycling and lack of innovation overall because you're kind of pigeonholed into making this game and running it by Infinity Ward and Activision Blizzard and whatnot. And again, those false band waves. That's a problem too. People are saying like, ah, there's no false band waves. Look at this image and tell me that this isn't the most incompetent company of all uh -oh. time. They even got the Dune phone number wrong. They, they gave some guy's is? phone number in like Texas. He's probably getting texted off the hook about Dune shit. He doesn't know what's Where's going on. But like, look at this. Oh, There's this no character. character named Wood. 
It's woods. It's not wood. And then Price and Soap are mixed up. Their own toys. Like, they don't care. Yeah, uh, I, I wouldn't be shocked if Frankfurt's gender gets changed in the next game. Yeah, yeah probably. They make mistakes. Th that, that's a tease. Uh, it's not. It's no longer woods. It's Woody. It's Woody. I'm Woody right now. There that's are false is. bans. That's a problem, too. I mean, guys, I'm out of time. I don't know yeah. what to say. Other he, he's always out of time. And guys, this is what this what happened recently as well. I'm not sure if you guys got to see this or not. The drama that's going around in Call of Duty with Doctor Dis, Doctor Doctor Dis, 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 Respect, Respect, Respect. I'm not sure if you guys got to see it or not. Check this out, and I'll see you right there.